In this video, we're going to run through uh, sending marketing emails out of Mag Manager. To do that, click on the gear icon in the top right of the screen. And the first thing I recommend you do is setting up the document that you want to send out to the clients. So to do that, you want to look under Admin and then Document Templates. And then you want to create a new document. So click on the green New Document button. And in this case, it's an email document, so select email document from the drop down box. And the context is going to be general. And then we want to base it on. So you can choose to either create a new document from scratch by clicking create a new document, or if you want to base it on a previous one and just make any changes, you can select that. And that, that's what I'm going to do in this example. So I'm going to select the early spring deadline. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the title of the new document and obviously update summer, eh, spring for summer and also in the subject and then you can go ahead and edit the body eh, text of the email to suit your requirements and just going over here so you can see it's automatically set up to pick up the primary contact and um, that's using the tokens over in the side here so we would click over primary contact and then email and that's what inserts a primary contact and then in the BCC field we have the rocket at magmanager.space if you have that set up it will automatically put a copy of the email onto the client timeline and we can click save so I'm now going to show you how you can send emails directly from the renewal screen so we'll click on renewals and it automatically opens up the search tab. So all my renewals are currently showing uh, for March and I want to move everybody over onto the all renewals tab. So they're obviously all checked down the left hand side and I simply click on the add 30 renewals. Okay, so now everybody uh, that I want to work with has moved from the search tab onto the renewals tab. If you look along the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we have two entries missing because we've got 28 of 30 total entries. So if that's the case, if you go up to the current amount column and toggle the switch, it'll bring up any hidden entries and you can see now it now shows showing um, the 30 entries there. So what happens is any in green have already booked and you'll see the current amount there and they automatically sort of disappear from view. And the other ones are the yellow ones, which have zero value bookings in the opportunity field. It's most likely to be people that, that um, you don't charge for. So they're hidden from view as well. So that can be toggled on or off. Um, but it's always a good idea just to have a look and see what's there in case there is any that you want to pick up. But in general, it's unlikely that you want to target these people. So the next step is to choose the clients you want to email you can do that individually by clicking on the little box and highlighting each one or if you want to do all entries so in this case it's going to pick up all 28 you would just tick the the white box um, in the first column of the purple header there and automatically over on the right hand side you can see it has email 28 renewals in the purple box so it's simply a case of clicking that and then you have to choose um, base your email on and we're going to pick up the document that we created earlier so early summer deadline so just click that one and it brings up a preview of that email template which again you can edit um, if you need to make any final changes and simply click um, press a preview and send and then this brings up the individual preview um, um, email for each client. Again, you can edit that on an individual basis if you want to add or take anything away. And then you have the three options. You can click send and it will send this email to this client and then move on to the next one for you to review. Or if you don't want to send it to this client, you can click on the orange button. So it'll skip this one and go on to the next email ready to make your choice on that one. 
or if you're quite happy and you want to send all 28 emails in bulk, you simply click on the blue send all emails and that's how you send an email from the renewals tab. So the next way to send uh, marketing emails is via the mail shots option. So we're going to close out of here and click on reports in the top navigation bar. And then on create mail shots. And then click on the grey area. And so we're basing the communication type on general communication. And then it brings up your search options. So from here you can click on publications. So you can choose one or multiple publications. You can choose on specific issues. You can choose based on sections. So targeting clients that are, um, for example, business and IT or carpentry and handyman services. or And again, categories, which is similar. You can also choose to search on flags. So you can choose any flags you have set up or you can choose to um, target people that are assigned to a specific user. Once you've made your choices, click on search and it will bring up the list of clients. So you can see along the top here, we have client, five clients who have uh, no consent to, to send marketing. So if you click on there, it will bring up the name of the clients just if you want as a reference. Um, and then it tells us that 18 clients are selected and also that 35 of the list have no email address. So to go ahead and create uh, your email from the 18 that are selected, simply click on the green select stroke create email. And then you base your um, email um, either on a previous template you've already set up so in this case, we're going to use that early summer deadline. Or if you want to create it from scratch, you can do that here by cl clicking on the new email template. But we're going back to the early summer deadline that we created previously. And again, it brings up the email. We can edit it again here if required and then click preview and send. And this brings up an individual preview of each email. Again, as I mentioned, you can edit it if required. And then to send this one and move on to the next email, you simply click on the green send and next email button. If you decide you don't want to send this one, you can skip and move on to the next email by clicking the orange button. Or if you're happy enough to send all the 18 emails at once, simply click on the blue send all emails button. And that's how you send an email via the mail shots. So I'm now going to go back to uh, mail shots and look at a different type of communication. So I'll just close out of here and go to reports and then create mail shots. Click on the grey area and this time we're going to base the communication on bookings. So it brings up a different search criteria here and in this example I'm going to click on bookings and from the drop down, I'm going to select no booking since. I'm going to choose both publications. And for the issue, I'm going to select January, February 2020. So what this is going to do, it's going to search for any clients that have had no booking since January, February uh, 2020 in both issues. And then I want to click search. So it'll take a minute or two and then it'll return a list of clients. So you can see in the column heading last bookings, um, the, the date that the last booking was made for that client. So you again here, you can choose to um, unselect or select all the entries there. I'm just going to leave it as it is for this example and go ahead and click on select create email. And then I'm going to click the drop down beside base my email on. Now I have no template set up using the booking criteria. So in this example, I'm going to have to set up a new one. So I'm going to click on new email template. 
So you can just fill in the title. The primary contact comes up by default. And if you want to use the um, rocket mail, you would add that in. Rocket at mag manager dot space and that will ensure that any emails that are sent out of the system will appear on the client timeline. Um, you'd need to add in a subject and then you need to add the body of the email. So I'm just copying and pasting a previous one and I'm happy with that. So I click on the green preview and send and just as normal you can scroll down and you can click send and it will move on to the next email click the orange skip and next email so it won't send to this client it'll move on to the next one or you can send click on the blue button send all emails and it will send all seven at once so that's just a run through of sending emails using the bookings communication type If you're a user of MailChimp, you can create a list to export to MailChimp in exactly the same way. So you'd click on Reports, Create Mail Shop, click on the grey area, choose your communication type, select your search options and click Search. And in the top of the screen you'll see a blue button, Export to MailChimp. So once you've selected the clients that you want to transfer um, over to MailChimp, simply click on the Export to MailChimp button, add a tag, and cl click on the green Create segment. It'll flash up Export Queued, and the list will be sent over directly into your MailChimp account ready for you to create your email from there. I'm now going to click on renewals because you can also export your uh, contacts list from the renewal screen uh, to MailChimp. So you're going to want to be on the all renewals screen and you can just select the individual clients or you can select them all by clicking on the box in the purple header and from there select the ones you want and instead of clicking the email renewal as we did previously you can click on export to MailChimp and from here again you just enter the tag name you want to attach to the client you're sending over and then click create segment and that will transfer your list over to MailChimp ready to send your email from there.